I've already unboxed both. To the left is the trim kit stuff, to the right is the Google Nest thermostat. This is the snow color and it does have a mirror type finish. And one thing to note, I'm hiding the QR code but essentially there's a QR code right behind this where my thumb is where you need to scan when you're finally setting it up. And this is really the main thing that you connect your wires here, you just push these down slide in the wires and good to go. Alright so time for the install this is my old Honeywell which I'm going to replace so this is a low voltage system which is going to be compatible with the Google Nest thermostat so if you have a high voltage system it will not be compatible and I've turned off the breakers to this unit also to the air conditioning so good to go there uh, you can also turn off the entire main panel if you're not sure but then again if you're not sure, it's also a good idea to actually just get some help or get a professional to install it just to be on the safe side. So if you have an Android, you go to the Play Store. If you have an iPhone, you go to the App Store. But essentially, when you go here, you just type in Home or Google Home. And when you search for it, Google Home will pop up. I already have it installed. I've been using it, so good to go there. So then you just click on the little plus sign, set up device, new device. You select the address that it's you know if you have more than one address since I recently moved my old address is still here so I'm gonna click on next and it's going to look for devices so in on this portion Wi-Fi does need to be connected so it can actually check on your Wi-Fi so I'm gonna scroll down or scroll up and click on the thermostat and I'm gonna click on Nest thermostat and yeah so this is going to ask me to scan the QR code so this is what I was hiding so this is the part where you basically scan the back of this and it finds it so as soon as you do that it finds it right away and you know you just point your camera to that and you're good to go so now it's asking me if I have any of these installed at this home I don't so I'm gonna click on no okay installing your thermostat this can take a as little as 30 minutes these steps okay getting to know your home's wiring removing your old thermostat configuring your new so essentially you just click next it tells you what you need so Phillips screwdriver number two flathead uh, power drill optional pliers optional flashlight optional and that's thermostat so you really just need a uh, Phillips and a flathead screwdriver and the Phillips is a number two or a P2 check your system turn off the power the circuit breaker which I've already done remove the cover now it's asking me to take a photo which I've already done but just for coolness sake I'll take another one okay save photo okay so check for high voltage so in my case it's not high voltage so you know if you have you basically want these thin wires so I'm gonna select not high voltage remove jumper wires so now I basically have to unscrew these and then I, I should be able to pull these out so I finally find a screwdriver that works that's thin enough to fit in these so I actually like unscrew them and good to go okay it says do any wires have two labels so I'm gonna say yes because there's an OB but I believe that's for the heat pump because that's where the arrows are going so I don't think that's relevant but I'm just gonna click yes anyways because I have them so do you have a heat pump I'm gonna say I'm not sure I don't think I do but I'm gonna say I'm not sure and this is the cool thing it says what color is the wire with the W and the OB labels so that one is white because my W is here and my OB is here so that's a white color that's connected so I'm gonna say white and it says use the conventional wire labels which is good because that's what this one says too conventional so I'm gonna click next now it comes to which wires do you have so I've labeled all the ones that I have that are connected minus the RC which is the one that it said to remove because it was a jumper so I'm not including RC but I do have W2 on this side I have R W Y, G, and C. So I have them labeled. So for Y, it says Y dash Y1, but I, I just selected that because Y is part of that. So then I click next. Label your wires. So now you could label them. So it does come with the stickers to label them. So let's go ahead and label the wires.
disconnect your old one and if you're going to use a trim kit then put that first. So we get to connect the wires and we're going to do green, red, this one is going to be W2, this one's going to be W1, C, and Y1. So essentially the OB becomes W2. Okay, so in my case I have green, red, W2, W1, C and Y. So double check to make sure everything is connected correctly and it is for me good to go. Okay so it says remove the battery tab, attach it and turn on the power and good to go. So I'm going to remove this That does look pretty, I do have to say. Alright, start test. Heat fuel, heat fuel source. I think it's gas, but I'm not sure. What is your heat delivery type? In floor, forced air. Okay, so I clicked forced air, heating. Okay, so I guess you could set schedules as well. I don't really care about that, so I'm just going to click remove. Set up home and away routines, so you could do that as well. So when you're home, you can start home and away routines with presence and sing next. Use your phone's locations, sure. Alright, that's fine. So I'm going to skip all of these, but essentially you could do it where it detects when your phone's getting closer to home and turns it on. Okay, so if I click on this, this is where I could set it to 73. And it turns on. Alright, so in terms of controlling, you have a few options. You could control it from the app, so once you're in the Google Home app, you could click on your thermostat, you could turn it on and off, however you want to control it. You know, you could change its settings if you want to from here, and you know, you could turn it on from here, you could say heat, and then you could set it to your temperature, whatever you want to set it to, and there we go. So over here, you know, heat, cool, heat and cool, or off. You have your temperature presets, which I showed you guys earlier, the timer, uh, and you have the fan where you can set a fan timer as well. So unlike the Nest thermostat where you actually spin it, which I think is kind of cooler, this one is more of a finger sensor where it's on this side, it's not on this side, it's just on one side. You push this up and the temperature goes up. And if you want to access the other options, you can also just tap this, and this is where all of your other info come. So you can actually scroll down, tap it, goes into the mode, so you can set it to heat cool, cool, heat, or off, and back. And then you have your hold options, and you know, eco, if you want to do that, and just going to say back your fan if you want to set a timer so I kind of like the Nest thermostat better I feel like it's it's a bit easier to control but yeah there we go so those are your options
But I do like the mirror type finish of this thing, which kind of looks cool. And as you walk away, it just becomes a full mirror, and then as you come closer, there's a presence sensor, which it turns on. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.